Now that we've created our own workspace and added all of the members that we want to have access, it's time to start adding some apps to our workspace so we can house information. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an app from the Podio app marketplace. So I'm in my sales workspace, which I accessed by clicking on the workspace menu and going to sales. And at the top of the workspace, you'll notice that in the area where all my apps will be listed, there's a button that says add app. And if I click on it, a pop-up box will appear asking me whether I want to add a free app from the app market or whether I'd like to build my own custom app. For this video, we're going to go ahead and add an app that's already pre-configured in the app market. So I'm going to click on go to the app market. And you'll notice that when the Podio app market loads, we are presented with a bunch of different apps to choose from, and they're categorized over here on the left. So depending on what you're looking for, you can drill down a little deeper either by function or by industry for the particular Podio app that you're looking for. Now, if we take a look at the top of the app market, you'll notice that the first three things listed are actually app packs, which means it's not just one app. There are multiple apps within this lead management pack. Same with the client project collaboration and the simple project management pack. So I could actually choose to get this whole pack, and it's going to add all of these pre-configured apps to my workspace. Now at the same time, I can click on more info on one of these app packs, and it's going to tell me a little bit about the pack. So it gives me a description. There's a rating, which can be really useful because you can see what other Podio users think of the particular app or the app pack. But if I scroll down a little bit, you'll notice that I can actually see the particular apps in this pack. So there's a leads app, a communications app, and so forth. So instead of installing all of these apps at once, I can just go ahead and click on more info. So in this case, I'm going to install the leads app. So I'll click on more info underneath leads, and it will take me to information specifically about that app. And I can go ahead and I can click get app. So when I click Get App, it asks me which workspace I'd like to add it to. I'm going to add it to Sales, so I'll just click Next. And now it says that it has been added. So I can go ahead and click the Try App Now button, and it's going to take me back into my Sales workspace. You'll notice that up in my top bar, I now have another icon for the Leads app. And it's actually taking me right into the Leads app, which we can tell because this app is highlighted in green up here at the top. We have a pop-up box telling us that the app is empty. We don't have any information in there yet. So later on in this video series, I'm going to show you how you can add information to an app, how you can customize apps, and even create your own app. But we've now started out by installing our first app inside of our sales workspace. And since this is a leads app, you could even on your own time go ahead and click add lead and go through the process of filling out a new lead. So you're going to enter the person's name, the organization's name, and so forth. Uh, but that's how you add apps to a particular workspace. You definitely want to take a look through that app marketplace and see what's available in there. I find that as we move through this video series, you're going to want to start out trying some of the pre-configured apps. But once I show you how to customize them and create your own, it's really helpful to look at some of the apps that have already been created in the app marketplace and backwards engineer how they were created. The tool for building apps in Podio is very intuitive and very user friendly. You don't have to know how to code. You don't have to be a tech person. It's pretty much drag and drop. So if you go in and you look at how a particular app is configured, it will help you when you're building your own app, which we're going to look at later on in this video series.